Hello, it's Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com for whatthearesking.com. And this week's question is, is it silly to try and make a long distance relationship, parenthetically 2,000 miles, work for four years of college? All right, long distance relationships, four years, 2,000 miles. This is what I'm gonna say about this. You can make it work, but I really think if you're aiming at success, like to be together after four years, um, there's a couple things you might want to consider. One, most people coming into college, trying to make a long distance relationship work, um, basically what they're doing is they're taking a relationship that started in high school, usually, um, which was a relationship where you guys were around each other all the time. And that was one of the reasons probably that the relationship was working so well. You guys being, uh, in this case, 2,000 miles apart, going to, into a completely different so social situation. Um, you're away from your parents, uh, unless your parents are going to college with you, which is just kind of weird. Um, but you're away from your parents, you're in a completely new group of friends, uh, group of activities, um, different uh, study schedules maybe. Like, like you basically your world's going to change. and you're going to try to keep a relationship that was, for the most part, probably healthy with you guys seeing each other every day, um, move to completely different universes and try to pull off making your relationship work for four years. Um, what I'm going to advise you as a geek is the idea of you guys, for lack of a better term, I'm going to say taking a sabbatical um, and being an important part of each other's lives throughout the four years that you're in college, staying connected, being um, you know resources for each other uh, physically, emotionally, when you are in the same space, um, figuring out how to make a long distance relationship work while not denying yourselves all the experiences and adventures of living in completely separate universes, or in this case, universities. Um, I know this is going to sound counterintuitive, um, and in some cases, for some of you taking this advice, it means you're going to be opening up your relationships and seeing other people and perhaps falling in love with other people. But if your intention is to try to build a life together, what I think kills long distance relationships often is sacrificing the life you're having day to day to preserve the life you're going to have four years from now. What that usually ends up doing is making people resentful because you're denying yourself all these experiences and activities and friendships or loverships or whatever. Um, you're denying yourself all these adventures in the universes you are currently living in, um, which I think in some cases are really important to your growth. So you have to figure out where, you have to figure out for yourself and also collaborate with each other as, um, as a team, as a partnership, around where your m morality and your values and, and, and what your needs are um, around what would feel good for you in having your own adventures and then being able to you know, still maintain some sort of connection for the four years. Uh, but I think most certainly in my experiences, and, and personally as well, not just professionally, what kills long distance relationships, and by long distance I mean it's you know, more than probably a three or four hour drive to get to each other, and you can't physically see each other that often. Um, you know, Skype and video conferencing can help, but it's not the same as actually, you know, cuddling and being, you know, sharing a meal together. So I feel like I'm, I'm repeating myself, but basically to kind of recap, what I think my best advice is for making a long distance relationship work is if, you, if your intention as a couple is to stay you know, build a life together. One, don't cut off the lives you're having 
separately when you're apart because you need some sort of autonomy. Um, and also all those adventures you get to kind of come back together and share. But those, those your separate lives at different colleges or, or you know, different places, those are going vastly towards building you and growing you into the person you are going to become. So don't try to deny yourself certain experiences within your morality um, and what feels comfortable for you guys in a relationship. But don't deny yourself experiences that will help you become who you are. Um, plan scheduled ways of staying connected, whether through Skype, letter writing, phone calls. Um, try to see each other, I would say at least two or three times, if not four times a year. Um, holidays and things like that are, are really important. Um, and if you guys are going to open up your relationship while you guys are apart, which means having your existing relationship happening while you're maybe seeing other people or dating other people or whatever it is uh, you want to do, um, be super honest and share about those things. Don't hide any of it. Um, it's usually shame that uh, makes us hide those things or um, our feelings that the other person can't handle it. If you think the other person can't handle it and you have to hide your behavior, you're never gonna last four years apart. Um, so don't disempower each other that way. Be, be bold and courageous and, and transparent with each other because that's the only way you're gonna make it through those a long distance for your relationship and still love and respect each other at the end. Um, let's say I hid everything for four years and then we get back together after college and then all this stuff comes out of all these things I kept from you for four years to save our relationship. It's probably not gonna land really well for, for the relationship. Um, so those are my main bits of advice. You're totally free to email me uh, if, you know, questions and whatnot at read, R-E-I-D, read at read about sex. Um, and I can, you know, maybe give you some more succinct information, but just kind of like a broad stroke for anybody trying to pull off a long distance relationship. Those would be the main things I would say. If that stuff doesn't work for you guys, I would counsel you then to consider um, transitioning the relationship. Honor that you guys had a kick-ass, you know, love relationship in high school, um, and be like, wow, you know, like, we're gonna go off to college, let's bring this to close, and let's revisit, um, you know, our relationship when we're both done with school. Uh, I think that's also a very mature thing. It certainly can be very heart-wrenching. Um, but, you know, part of the reason <laughs> you're going to college or you've left high school is because you're a grown-up now. So you have to take that and be uh, more grown-up with your relationships. And that includes, you know, sucking it up when it means a tough decision that's maybe not going to feel so great right now. I hope that was good advice. And I wasn't too rambly. Um, read Mahalko from readaboutsex.com for what they are asking.com. Good luck. That sound okay?